yeah, I set this back and show you guys how I got these drums set up. Matter of fact, I just started a new a new session completely. Okay, so yeah, I'm back in Pro Tools. I'm gonna go like File New Session. Um, and call it Test again. Okay, so what I really want to do, I want to add about seven channels since I'm actually using this channel right here, this channel right here, all the way over to basically I'm not using this one at all. So I just I'll just turn this down just for the sake of it. My um I do have phantom power on because my condenser mics, my two overhead mics are right here. Um, I'm gonna go back over here and just add these channels real quick. You can go to track new. Um, I'm gonna change it to eight, actually seven. I'm sorry, mono audio tracks. Yeah. Um, the tempo is automatically defaulted to 120. I don't really care what it's gonna be because I'm probably not gonna uh, use that for this demo sake. But the cool thing about this though is that Pro Tools knows what device I'm using, obviously because it's made in house with um. Avid and um, they actually changed the inputs for me. So my input one is going to be my overhead left. My input right is going to be my overhead right. Um, this is actually my um, my kick mic right here. My imps, my insert three, which is my line in three. Um, my insert four is actually my snare. This is my high tom. This is my mid tom. This is my low tom. And um, I'm going to go ahead and throw a master fader in there too just because I want to control like I think everybody wants to control on this one yeah so here there's my master um, yeah obviously there's gonna be some like some tweaking and stuff you're gonna do I always cut the metronome off because right now I'm just showing you a demo and uh, let me just enable all these tracks so that you can actually hear them I'm gonna mute them in Pro Tools because I don't want to hear that. Unfortunately, is it plays back what you play and it's got a weird kind of delay to it, a delay effect, and um, especially when you're like singing, it gets really annoying. But when you're playing drums, you don't want to hear what you just played a split second later. It can kind of throw you off. You want to just hear what you can hear, which is cool because you can kind of hear the direct monitoring anyway with the device. Um, yeah, so. Uh, now it's time to show you what the drums will do. Alright, I just enabled recording in Pro Tools and uh, actually I don't even need this. I'll just lay down a simple little drum rhythm so you guys can hear this real quick. As you can see, I just recorded what I just did. I'm going to go ahead and unmute all these channels. Okay. And play it back real quick. One more cool thing I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to record just a little bit more, which is uh, I'm going to actually show you what the mixer does as I'm recording. So I'm going to throw the mixer up here on this other screen so you guys can see it, and um, I'll be right back. <laughs> 